Cedar sinai is one of the largest deliverers of health care on the West Coast. We run a large primary care network, and at the same time, we also deliver the most complex, complicated quaternary and tertiary services, programs which really require the highest medical skill and talents in the nation. Cedar sinai has gone through a tremendous transformation. We went from a high-quality, community-based hospital to an academic powerhouse. One of the great advantages we have, of course, is living in one of the most wonderful and diverse cities in the country, and it doesn't hurt that the climate isn't too bad either. We are blessed by a great environment, intellectually as well as personally, and that allows us to have the very brightest trainees who make our chances for continuing to push things forward and innovate even greater. The thing that stands out to me the most about Cedars is really the people. The people you get to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. The nurses are fantastic. They're all here to watch you succeed, as are the you know techs in the endoscopy suite, your faculty, your mentors. The Division of Digestive and Liver Diseases at Cedars-Sinai is outstanding not only clinically, but also academically. We are ranked number two on U.S. News and World Report. It is the most, I would say, comprehensive and complete division of digestive and liver diseases in the U.S. Coming to Cedars, you're exposed to a wide spectrum of disease states in gastrointestinal and liver diseases, and we really have some of the best faculty that you can interact with, and they're all eager to teach, and they're all eager to make your career the best it can be so that you can become a leader in the field. There's a very diverse population of individuals here. And I think one, that makes for, for a great living environment, but two, it makes for a great patient care environment. From day one, you're immersed completely. You have the utmost support of those around you, but you also have the opportunity to grow and try things out on your own and fail and learn from your mistakes. The trainee, even though they're in a training situation, we want them to think like a consultant, to feel completely responsible for the patient in terms of diagnosis management, and that the faculty member is going to be a support for that or a mentor for that, but we want the fellow to show in their training experience that they have the ability and the passion to become independent uh, practitioners. Research here at Sears is abundant. Oftentimes I have a harder time saying no than I do finding work. All of the faculty, when you talk with them, are happy to tell you about their research and invite you into that and try and find a piece of the puzzle for you to help solve. Wherever you want to go, whether it's a review paper or really basic science research, I think they give you the time and flexibility to do that. We want to train the next generation of leaders. I'm looking for applicants that's going to come in take advantage of the expertise and the resources that we have to train this individual to be the best of the best and to then lead the field in the future.